Hi, this is Heather with Keep It Simple Social Media. And in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to go live from your Facebook business page using the Business Suite app. So you can see the app is downloaded on my phone and it says Business Suite in the lower right hand corner. We're just going to go ahead and click on that. And when it opens, it gives us two choices. We can click on the words publish in the top left hand corner, or we can click on the blue box with the white pencil and we can go ahead and click it and it will open up and it gives you options for different ways to create content. Let's just click the X box here. Now let's say you're over here on your news feed where all your posts are that you've done on Facebook. If you wanted to go ahead and add a post or go live, once again, you would click on the blue box with the white pencil. Now it is in here that Facebook says write something or upload a photo video, live video. Well, we want to go live on Facebook. So we're going to click on live video. Now, as soon as you click on it, it is not live. We have not gone live yet. Do you see how it says start live video in the blue box? We would click that to go live. But while we're here, let's have a little conversation. Below, we can see all of these different options for adding backgrounds or filters to our videos. This is a very popular one in the fall time because it's leaves whatnot going around. If we want to get rid of it, we click the little X. And you can just go through all of these and look at the different masks or backgrounds that you can put on your video. Or you can click on the little wand and you can look at much more. And if you scroll through them, I have some of my favorite ones that you can click on and you can see the pretty little sparkles and you can see the end of my nose has a sparkle on it. <laughs> so you just click through them, take your time and find the ones that you like that work for you. And you won't know till you click on them to see what they're all about. And these are filters. These are Facebook filters. And every time I go on to do a Facebook Live, I see more and more new filters. And I can't say that I like all of them or even a lot of them. Um, I had some favorite ones, but it seems like every time I try to find them, they disappear. So I'm going to stick with this filter right here. I mean, and you can do so many more things. You can click on the pencil below and you can change colors and, and just click around. Okay, now... If you want to get the filters to disappear, just click on the little down arrow and we're back to just having the simple little sparkly uh, features. Now, before you click start live video, for Facebook, if you want to be going live, you actually want to turn your phone in a horizontal landscape position. It's called widescreen. It shows up a lot more. But because I'm videotaping this um, video right now on my screen, it's going to look a little different. And when I turn the screen, it's um, going to make me look upside down. So I'm just going to keep my phone in a vertical position for Facebook. But I'm going to tap on add a description. And the reason you want to add a description is because Facebook is going to start notifying people that you are doing a live video. And if your description is something that they're interested in, they will come and watch your video. So I'm writing going, going live, whoops, on a Facebook business page. because that's what we're doing, right? We're going live on our Facebook business page. And now I'm gonna click done. And what I wanna do is I have a description, I've got my filters going. All I need to do is click start the live video and we're gonna get a countdown and then we're gonna go live. Let's go ahead and click go live. And there we go, we are now live on Facebook. 
on our Facebook business page. I'm using Keep It Simple Social Media and I've got a filter on, I have a title, and now Facebook is starting to notify people in their newsfeed that Keep It Simple Social Media is live on Facebook. And that's why your live video should be anywhere from, you know, three minutes to 10 minutes long, which gives people an opportunity to come and start watching. Hi, Kathy, how are you? And now it's saying that I can bring Kathy on the camera. And so if I click on bring Kathy on, you can see it now says bring Kathy on the camera and I can click add. And if Kathy wants to come live with me, she will be popping on the screen momentarily. Now, this is actually a very new feature on a Facebook business page. Um, all good. <laughs> I wanted to see if it was working yet, Kathy. That's why I, I invited you. I'm going to try inviting you again. Just see if it works. That's all. Connection failed. So this is something that is going to start working. And that is when you can bring someone else onto your Facebook Live from your business page. I can see that Facebook has all of the bells and whistles set up. It's just not yet working. So every week, Catherine and I, we test these things out to see if we can in fact go live. Uh, let's click on here. We're going to add and we'll see if this works. So I noticed at the bottom of the screen, it gave me, um, yeah, maybe next time it gave me options to uh, bring Kathy on, but it's telling me it's still not able to do it. So on the very bottom of my screen, I see my wand where I can change my filters. I see that I can reverse my camera around. So now you can see the other side. So that is an option that's working. I can turn on my flash, my light, and it gives me an option to look at the people that are on my live right now and invite them, although that option is not working at this time. And then I can click on the, well, I can see all the comments that are uh, streaming through the news feed right now. Now, when I'm finished, what I do is I click on the words finish. And once the video's finished, Facebook gives me an option. They say, do you want to delete this Facebook Live or do you want to post it onto your Facebook business page? And if you're happy with the video, I recommend that you start posting it and you start getting more comfortable going live on Facebook. And the more we do anything, it's simply time on tasks, the better we will get. So as a real estate agent, doing these live videos for open houses, virtual tours, anything of that nature um, are just really good ideas. And it doesn't have to be a listing. If you don't have a listing, it could be a park, your favorite restaurant. It could be interviewing clients, absolutely anything that you want to do. So this is our live video. I want to thank Kathy White up in beautiful Whistler for joining me today. And hopefully next time we try to do our Facebook Lives, maybe the option to share the screen, which does work on Instagram, Instagram lives, you can share your screen. Um, and I'm sure that's where Facebook is going with this. So just remember everyone, keep it simple. So I'm clicking finish. It's ending my video right now and I'm still recording my telephone screen. So we're continuing on. It says, nice, you went live for 3.36 seconds. Post your video so more people can watch it because you get more views after the video is over. So you see, I have the choice to delete it at the bottom or share it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and click on share. And it is going to share on my Facebook business page. And it does take about um, probably five minutes for Facebook to produce that video. And then um, Facebook will give me a notification that it is now on the business page and you can go in and you can edit it at that time. Finish your circles is what we like to say. This is Heather. Remember everyone, let's keep it simple.